Good day, happy travelers. Vacation Travel Hacks here with the ultimate dining at Disney guide. This video will cover all four theme parks. It's designed for the family planner, somebody who has never gone to Disney before, someone who hasn't been to Disney in a long time, or perhaps somebody who is curious about all of the dining options that exist at the four major theme parks. And for those of you who are curious, hey, I know what I would eat. I could eat anything anywhere. But little Timmy and little Susie, well, that is a different story. Don't worry. We will also cover the children's menus as well, and you'll get a pretty good idea of the price. So let's go ahead and hop into it. This continues on the planning uh, cycle of prep modules. Hopefully you are here 61 days or further out from the start of the stay. Why 61 days? Because on the 60th day from your stay at a uh, Disney property, you are able to make dining reservations throughout your entire duration. If you're not staying on a Disney property, don't worry, On starting on the 60th day, you will be able to go ahead and start making your re reservations one at a time. So no worries, let's go ahead and get started. So we talked about orientation in some previous videos. We're gonna talk about the Magic Kingdom first. Here's a picture of what we talked about. Uh, if you like, wow, that looks interesting. These are all in the spirit of saving you some steps on a long day. Let's go ahead and move down. Magic Kingdom has several dining options that are available. Uh, we will start in Main Street, USA and kind of work our way into the park. We start at Tony's Town Square. Nice little Italian shop right as you enter the park onto the right. Starts at 1130, ends at 9 o'clock. And there, uh, this is it right here, right in the bottom right-hand corner, just to the right of the flagpole. So what does the menu have for us? I can recommend the fried mozzarella. My kid likes the fried mozzarella, but who doesn't like garlic bread for the table? Don't like appetizers? Don't worry, there's the main course. They used to have a great steak, but their butcher steak is pretty good. Chicken Parmesan, uh, I, I call it comparable to what we've had in uh, other locations. Want to see what your kids will eat? Well, they get the choose one entree and choose two uh, sides down there. So if you want to spend some time here reviewing this for Susie and Timmy, feel free to hit the pause. I'm not going to hit pause. I'm going to keep going on to desserts. Here's some tiramisu cannoli. There's a spumani tart. Lots of options. You choose what is right for you. That is what is available there. We continue on to the plaza. The plaza is a little further down Main Street. You walk down and it'll be on your right, making your way to Tomorrow Land Terrace. There's some appetizers. I've had the chili. I thought it was pretty good. The Plaza Reuben comes highly recommended, and I've had the Main Street Burger. I believe other people, my family, again, I plan for a party of eight. Homestyle meatloaf, you can't go wrong. It tastes like home. What is your kid going to eat? Well, you can't go wrong with chicken strips on a burger. Choose two of those sides. There's some ice cream. Cheers to 50, and uh, here's to 50 more. So there's some desserts for you to consider as well. If we go to the other side of Main Street, other side of Main Street, you get a completely different dining experience, a character dining experience at the Crystal Palace. That is over here, heading towards Adventureland. And as you know, or maybe you don't know, the dining experience, that uh, character dining experience, is a little bit more expensive than the Plaza or Tony's Town Square. Uh, breakfast starts at $45. It's a buffet. You walk up, you get as much as you want, as little as you want, but at the end of the day, you get what you want. The breakfast is cheaper than the dinner, uh, so $45 for adults, $29 for children uh, for dinner, $59.38, and the uh, they got meat carving station, they got desserts, uh, all sorts of stuff, lots of stuff to eat, and of course, Winnie the Pooh, Eeyore, and Gang Tigger, uh, all are available for pictures. Uh, we keep on going on into Adventureland. Uh, we end up at the Jungle Cruise uh, dining location is what I call it, but it's called Jungle Navigation Crew or perhaps Jungle Skipper Canteen. It's referred to as everything. Just don't call me late to dinner. It's open 11 to 9, and here it is right here. Uh, it's right past the ice cream uh, shop on your right-hand side as you're walking in. Got some appetizers for you, and they got some entrees for you. Uh, I had the... Hanger steak, and I thought that was, uh, I don't think anybody walked out feeling disappointed. It was a, a great experience. Uh, so then you got your kids. What is my kid going to eat? This place says a little, it's a little bit, uh, I don't know, uh, obscure maybe. Uh, 
<laughs> it's not like you're, you know, chicken strips and burgers. So maybe this is one of those things where, you know, if you got somebody with a wide palate, uh, go in with somebody with a narrow palate. So this, this is one that we probably won't do to do again. Uh, but hey, you're Susie and Timmy. You do what's right for you. There's some desserts. Enjoy them if you'd like. If you don't eat a dessert here, Disney has a dessert for you somewhere else. That's our motto. Well, let's move on to the Diamond Horseshoe. Uh, this is more of an all-you-can-eat uh, experience, all or you, all you care to enjoy, except you don't have to go get it. Uh, it is located right here in Liberty Square. There's actually a little uh, cut-through area right, right here, and there's restrooms right there, so that's pretty nice. And uh, so $39, it's like Thanksgiving anytime you want. And this is what they offer. They bring it to you. Save room for the ooey gooey toffee cake. It's going to be difficult uh, difficult to save room, but the the pork is good. The turkey, the pot roast, you, you just can't. It's is, it is a pretty solid meal. Uh, Liberty Tree Tavern is right next to it, and they offer the same experience uh, at the same cost, uh, just in a uh, a different environment. So it's all you you know, uh, all you care to enjoy. They just kind of renamed everything to be more uh, Liberty and Tree oriented. If you want to eat in the castle, now this one, you're going to want to be Johnny on the spot. If you're staying at a Disney property, you're staying there for a week. On your 60th day, this is for you. The first thing you do at 6 a.m. when dining reservations open, you go to near like your last day in the park, and you look for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. And if it's there, you take it. Be forewarned. You got to pay full uh, full price in advance. Don't worry, though, if you need to cancel uh, that money is refunded to you when you cancel. So that's a, a little tip there. I'm going to show you where the castle is. That's the castle. Now you know. Let's move on. What what are you paying for? So for breakfast, $65 an adult, $39 for a child. If you have a 10-year-old kid uh, and they want to eat off the kid's menu, they charge you $65 because the age doesn't, uh, it goes by your Disney profile age. So if you're like, oh, I'm just going to eat the kids. Well, it's not exactly how it works. Uh, we'll move on down. Here's what the kids can pick. Again, a little obscure. Uh, you got a frittata, but hey, the Mickey-shaped waffle. Who doesn't like a good waffle? Uh, for dinner, a little bit more expensive, but a little bit more of an experience, perhaps. Actually, it's the same experience. You meet a princess on your way in. You get some pictures. The princesses go around. It's just uh, the, the, the dinner just has a more expensive concept. So uh, choose one of these uh, appetizers. Choose one of these entrees, and of course you get a dessert. Clock strikes 12 is what most people try. I tried it. I enjoyed it. Uh, for kids, here's what they, you know, a little too, Susie or Timmy eating a grilled beef tenderloin or chicken nuggets. You choose. It's $47. And of course, they can build their own cupcake. They got sword in the suite, uh, which is a cool little souvenir. Uh, beer or gas, so you go from one castle to the next. Enjoying a meal with the beast, which is right through the castle into the back of the park. Uh, it's a harder reservation to get, but not nearly as hard as Cinderella's Royal Table. And uh, they don't make you pay up front. Uh, it's just, it's harder to get. Uh, it's not like wide open, like Liberty Tree Tavern. You can pretty much get that any anytime you want. Uh, so if you want it, at least, uh, you know, reserve it. See what happens. Uh, this is uh, a la carte. No, no, no. This is... Uh, you, you prefix menu, so $67, you choose uh, one of these appetizers, you choose the entree, and you choose the, the dessert that you'll see in a minute. And believe me, try the gray stuff. It's delicious. And uh, I guess you can ask the dishes. Here's what your kids will be eating if they uh, choose to do this. And it's always fun watching my kid eat a steak. He likes steak. And I, 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 that's, I really enjoy that. Here are some of the uh, more kids. They, they get to select two sides. And, of course, here is your dessert. Choose three of these. And you are off and running into the next park. What is Epcot? We reviewed the flows, how to walk and not how to not walk 20 miles in this park if it's avoidable. This park makes it pretty easy. There's a couple different ways in. And there's a bunch of different dining reservations. The hardest to get uh, probably in all of the park is Space 220. Just like I told you at Cinderella's Royal Table, 60 days out. If you're staying at a Disney property, go to like your last day. If this is what you really want to do, you're going to take a space elevator up into space. And that actually is your scenery. And that what a view it is. It is uh, one of the most expensive. It's, it's, it's in line with the, the castle. $79.99. Get to choose an appetizer. You get to choose the main course. I had the stay uh, filet mignon. I got the ribeye actually last time I went on New Year's Eve. I enjoyed it. Uh, the filet was uh, good the time that I ate it before. Uh, also very good. 
So for dessert, this is what they got. For the kids, lunch and dinner, $29. So, you know, it's pretty good. It's $50 off the adult price. And they uh, have the, the Smash Burger. If you want to get this, they will let you order off the kids' menu, but they let you uh, pay the adult price because it's based off of that. As we move our way into Epcot, a very cool dining experience. They got the pyramid in the Mexico land, and you get to eat in the pyramid at Mexico land, looking at a pyramid in the Mexican land while a ride goes past you on the little river rock there. They got the uh, Three Amigos ride with uh, uh, Donald Duck. And that's uh, it, It's a fantastic experience, similar to Blue Bayou, Pirates of the Caribbean, and Disneyland, if you're familiar with that. Otherwise, it is over here. And be careful, there's two of them. There's San Angel Inn and La Cantina de San Hell. I made a reservation at La Cantina de San, uh, San Angel, thinking I was going to the pyramid. Instead, I was going to the item I will be talking about next. This tries to give you a full, authentic Mexican dining experience. So you got your uh, Habla Espanol for the items in the, the title, and then it's uh, Habla Anglais, a mostly English description of what is in that meal. Uh, but the prices are very much in U.S. dollars and consistent with the dining experience. Here, what will your kids eat? Chicken tenders, mac and cheese, just like you were in Mexico. Let's keep on going to the dessert, the Fiesta Pyramid. Highly recommend. Uh, across the street, La Hacienda de San Hell. Uh, you're not in the pyramid. You're looking over the water. Uh, it's the very spacious, great view of the lake. And uh, like I said, here it is on the water. Moving forward to the house specialties, some appetizers, some entrees, very similar to what's across the street. Take a look. Pause if you want to take a look and uh, you know spend time on this. Otherwise, I keep going. Here's what your kids will eat. Very similar to what was across the street. Desserts are very similar as well. And we keep going on to Norway land, Icarus Royal Banquet. I call this the royal table of Epcot because it lets you eat with princesses. Uh, that is in Norway land. That's right here in between Mexico and China, just like on the globe. Moving down, uh, it's $63, so character dining. It's going to be a little bit more, but it's all you care to enjoy. Uh, 63 adults, 41 for kids. Here's what everybody gets to eat, and who doesn't enjoy a good corn dog nugget? Disney World, for my money, makes a pretty solid corn dog nugget. Nine Dragons uh, Restaurant in China Land. You want some Chinese food? Uh, China Land is right up. It's right here. Not circled, but you can use your imagination. There would be a circle right there. Uh, it's better than Panda Express, but maybe not as better as that China restaurant right down the street from your house. Or maybe it's better. Only one way to find out. Go there. Give it a shot. And uh, here's the menu. Pause if you want to take a look. Uh, and we, we, we keep moving. I have the salt and pepper shrimp. I, I enjoy that. Beer Garden. Listen, it's in Germany land. It's all you care to enjoy. It's way back here in this circle. And it is $49, but there's entertainment. Dudes come out in the Lederhosen. Uh, you get to eat some uh, traditional German dining offerings. It is a fantastic uh, time. They got, uh, if you're into the beverages for those 21 and older, they got beverages and, uh, you know, the, uh, the, the, the bottle or the, the jugs with handles. And it is, uh, the, but the entertainment, uh, if you, you can work it around there uh, when, and eat during normal time. If you go closer to closing, you might not get it. We, we didn't get to see it once. But uh, the, the entertainment, the music, it is, it is a nice show. It's about 20 minutes, 30 minutes long. Uh, maybe German food isn't your speed. Maybe you're a pizza person or an Italian person. In Italy land, all the way back here, we got two different dining options. Via Napoli is the place we go to kick off our Disney World trips. Uh, and uh, here's what is available if you like pasta. Uh, if you like pizza, they got a bunch of uh, a meter-sized pizza. Listen, 50 bucks. Uh, meter pizza, uh, you know, if you're feeding five people, everyone gets two or three slices. That's a win. You're winning. I'm winning. And we continue on to what the kids can have. They can have pizza or chicken tenders. You can get chicken tenders almost in every land in uh, Epcot. It's pretty fantastic. Uh, more dessert, more items to consider. Um, if you don't like pizza, they got a Tutto Italia restaurant. Uh, more of the Olive Garden experience is what I call it. It's just, uh, well, without the pizza, really. So we got uh, these items here. Pause if you want to take a look. We keep going, kids, again, chicken tenders, pasta. And we head on down to Japan land where you can get hibachi and sushi. 
and Japan land. We keep moving on down past the America area. It's a quick service there I'll talk about in another video. But here we are here pretty much at the opposite end of the Epcot ball. Cool pictures you can get in front of it. Uh, I normally get the filet. Nope, the New York steak hibachi. And it is tasty. I did not include the uh, sushi menu on this particular cut. But it exists if you like sushi. Uh, well, they have it. And dessert. You're in luck. Kids entrees. I don't see chicken nuggets. I don't. I don't see chicken nuggets. Uh, across the road, uh, up the road a little bit, and uh, closer to the water, you got Morocco Land, Spice Road Table Restaurant. A pretty good place to get, oh, here it is right here. Pretty good place to get some small plates. A bunch of different small plates. Try a bunch of stuff and uh, be on your way. Chefs de France, fine dining, uh, which, you know, fr France is known for fine dining. France Land is over here by Remy. You walk over here to the left, and you get to see the menu. And it's parlez-vous français, s'il vous plaît. And uh, with uh, some English descriptions of what it is you're ordering. If uh, little Susie or Timmy is uh, up for a little bit of an experiment, they got escargot uh, right up here at the top. And who doesn't love to kick off their menu, uh, their, their dining experience with that? Here's what the kids can eat. I don't see chicken nuggets, do you? I see chicken tenderloins, like a nugget, maybe not breaded. Let's keep on going. Hey, here's some dessert. Uh, if you don't like that dessert, behind them is the uh, France Land Ice Cream Shop. Uh, some of the best ice cream on property. The Apple Crumble, you won't be disappointed. Uh, for more, some fish and chips, let's head to Rose and Crown Dining. That is up here on the water. And here's the menu. Scotch egg, that's, uh, I've never tried it. I, I don't like eggs, but I like fish and chips. That's what I've had. I know other people in my group have had shepherd's pie. That's what we've tried. It is enjoyable. We keep moving on. Fish and chips, no chicken nuggets, but chicken nuggets of the sea, perhaps. And that is also tasty. Best steak in the property. Best, you, I've had a lot of steak. Steakhouse 71. I've had steak at uh, all, all the other places I've shared with you uh, so far. Uh, this is the best steak on property. Uh, Beat Space 220. It is the best. It's in Canada land, uh, which is right here. And while you're waiting to, you know, if you have a reservation, it still takes 20 minutes to get seated, uh, usually. Maybe because that's a part, we're a party at 8, 10, and 12. <laughs> they got a nice little IMAX theater for you to uh, watch a, a video about Canada. And that's, uh, I call that dinner and a show team. Uh, they got appetizers here, not pictured here, but later on is the Pouton. Uh, Pouton. Pouton. I don't know. It's a uh, French fries and gravy. Pouton. Pouton. Uh, and I got the ribeye. They used to have porterhouse steak for two. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sure, it was 120 bucks. But it is the, uh, to this day, 40 some odd years of living, that is the best uh, best steak for your money. What were your kids eat? I don't see chicken nuggets here, but I do see grilled chicken and gravy. and uh, But mac and cheese, uh, all the same. And here's the, here's the poutine. Apologies, poutine. Uh, some dessert here. I, I've never been hungry for dessert. Although... I still think I tried the carrot cake. Let's head on, finish our tour, uh, Garden Grill Character Dining Experience. And that is in the, uh, I call it the ride area, but it's the uh, Tomorrowland uh, area. No, Futureland, Futureland area. Here we go. Uh, so Garden Grill is in the area where Test Track is. It's uh, above Test Track, actually, the top of that pavilion. And for, it's again, it's $55, 36 for kids. Uh, you sit down, the restaurant kind of rotates, and it goes into the uh, living on the land ride. It smells, smells cool. It smells like to me, it smells like vacation. I like that. And you got characters coming up. You got food being dropped off. The whole experience is pretty cool. So that concludes Epcot. Now we move on to Hollywood Studios. We talk about how to not move a whole bunch over here. And there's a bunch of places to eat here. We got them all circled. We'll go through them. Hollywood Vine started off with a character dining experience. This is a buffet. Food doesn't come to you. You go to the food. $42 uh, is the breakfast offering. Uh, a lot of people think breakfast is breakfast is breakfast, bacon, egg, sausage. And that is true, except the bananas French toast at this place is fantastic. And made to, made to order omelets. Also pretty good. Uh, this is the dinner menu. Again, you got characters coming up. You get pictures with the characters and you're, you're eating. It's uh, multitasking in the spirit of the, the, just don't get mashed potatoes on your, on your shirt there. Uh, next up is 50 prime time, 50s prime time cafe, which is right next door. So mini and vine or Hollywood and vine was here. 50s prime time diners here. What was it like to eat back in the 1950s? Well, take a look at this entree list. 
Uh, I'm pretty sure $26 for fried chicken it would be about $300 back in the 50s due to inflation. But this isn't an exercise in economics. This is an exercise in what's on the menu and what is your kid going to eat? Because you got a lady or a dude walking around, you know, acting like it's 1950 and they, they, they want you part of the clean plate club. That's part of the vibe. That's part of the experience. And that is why we enjoy it. The desserts, say, try to save room. The warm apple crisp is delicious. And uh, I, I, I just strongly recommend it. Uh, something a little bit more upscale and, uh, well, it's just upscale. Hollywood Brown Derby. Uh, across the way there at the animation courtyard, go in there, get an appetizer, and they got a salad here. I kid you not. The famous Cobb salad is ground up so well that you don't even need teeth. T take a look. I, let, let me go back a couple slides here because it's right here. Look at this. That's the lettuce. So ground. Like it's smaller than the uh, the, the avocado there. I, I've had it. It's, it's pretty good. But, uh, uh, you know, somebody back there is just chopping, just just chopping. Here's other stuff. Otherwise, I get the filet if I'm if I ha hadn't had a good steak yet. They make a great steak for the kids. Do we see chicken nuggets? We don't. But we see a hot dog and that's um, it could very well be chicken. It could very well be chicken. We keep going onto the desserts and the decadent chocolate cake. You can share with the whole table. It's 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 enough. But the bananas foster was also good as well. Let's go into sci-fi dining. Now, I'm going to spend a minute on these pictures. If you're a group of four, you're going to have a great time. If you're a larger group, uh, it's tricky. At the way back, they only have a handful of tables that will hold uh, up to eight people. And uh, so many of these places, if you make a reservation for five or six, uh, you know, they, they might be able to add on a person to your reservation. This one, because of how the, the table, the, these are the tables. Uh, right in front of you here is a table where you where you eat and you're facing a movie theater uh, and you get to watch some uh, some some shows from the the 50s so uh, let's go on down uh, where is the sci-fi diner sci-fi diner is actually right here I, I, I circled the wrong place sci-fi diner is right here and what's in the sci-fi diner I've had the fried pickles crispy onion rings uh, yeah they're they're good I, I recommend it the burgers are good uh, what is your kid gonna eat ta-da chicken strips are back Macaroni and cheese never left. Desserts, that's good. Yeah, they have good ice cream. If you like desserts, do you don't want this dessert? It'll be a dessert somewhere else. Mama's Melrose, maybe more uh, uh, Italian is uh, uh, up to your uh, your speed here. So where's Mama Melrose? Past the Muppets in the back corner of Hollywood Studios there, and the menu. Fried mozzarella, my, my kid likes that. Crispy calamari, uh, I enjoy that. And then if you're like a pizza person, they will make a pepperoni pizza here if you if you ask them to. Uh, otherwise, you can get uh, you know chicken parmesan, I get spaghetti and meatballs, uh, very enjoyable. What will your kid eat? No, no, no chicken nuggets, I'm sorry. So uh, let's move on down to what you can get for desserts. And here you go, you got tiramisu. And we move on to the animal kingdom. Where are we going to eat at the Animal Kingdom? Well, let's get started. Right at the park entrance, they got a restaurant for you. So if you're coming hungry, you can enter the park full. And Animal Kingdom is, uh, or I'm sorry, Rainforest Cafe at the Animal Kingdom. Be careful here. There's two, uh, one over in Disney Springs, one at Animal Kingdom. And uh, so this is, I think they try to distinctly mark it. This is where it is. So let's hop into it. Breakfast from 8 to 1030. Breakfast menu is here. Pause to take a look at it. But it's, uh, well... Uh, there, there's a bunch of different options. Uh, lunch and dinner, uh, the, the, the menu is huge. So pause if you want to take a look at it. I normally get a burger. Normally not too hungry at this point in the trip. I, I, I but I, I, actually I did get the rib steak and shrimp trio because that's that's the kind of guy that I am. And I like to sample it all and it was good. Uh, for the kids, do we see chicken nuggets? Hey, we do. They're called chicken tidbits. And uh, which, which... I think, oh, you can get chicken fingers for $1 more if you're looking at the menu. Pause for Susie and Timmy. I'm moving on. Tiffin's Fine Dining of Animal Kingdom. Uh, it's very much for the the, the palate, uh, palate defined. Uh, we went here and it was uh, finer than our taste. I know a lot of people really like it. Uh, it was just, it was a very fine charcuterie. The I guess we all got the charcuterie board and the cheese was cheeses. We've never tasted before, and it's cheeses that we haven't tasted since. Main courses, you got some stuff to eat. Surf and turf is what I got. And, well, kids, do we see chicken nuggets here for the kids? We do not, but a grilled chicken thigh of teriyaki is close. 
<laughs> lemon meringue pie. Continuing on to Tusker House. Theme dining. You get to hang out with Safari, Mickey, Donald, and uh, uh, Pluto. Or Goofy. One or the other. I think that's it. I, I, that's Goofy. That's clearly Goofy. Uh, they have breakfast there. $45, $29. G get seated. Go get some food. They don't bring it to you. You go get it. The characters come to you, though. And you can get pictures. Get your day started off right. And then for dinner, a little bit more expensive. But the, the food, uh, we, we've enjoyed the food there. It's, it's at Four buffets, the, the buffet is pretty solid. And I believe we're coming close to our uh, ending here because we are in Yak and Yeti, which is in Asia. And, uh, uh, listen, their appetizer is fantastic. It's called the uh, the nachos, the ahi nachos, shareable, uh, shareable for like eight. Uh, it, it's enough, and it's uh, highly recommended. Uh, they've got soups, they got noodles and bowls, pause if there's something you want to see, specialties, uh, grilled this and that. And then for the kids, do we see chicken nuggets? We don't, but mini corn dogs. Again, it's kind of like a chicken nugget. All right, so all this stuff can be found here on the website. That concludes the ultimate Disney dining guide. Hope you enjoyed it as much as I have enjoyed saying it. I'll see you in the next video.